My name is Pastor Hal York, and welcome to Truth in the Trenches. Today we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 5. A trustworthy witness will not lie, but a false witness utters lies. A witness, something Proverbs talks about a lot. Verse 25 talks about a truthful witness. In the administration of justice today, and even back in Solomon's day, especially back in Solomon's day, the witness was a key component of a fair and just trial. And the justice and the fairness of that verdict was often determined by the eyewitness accounts of what may or may not have happened. So obviously truth and being trustworthy was a major component or character trait you wanted in a witness. And there were serious punishments for those who lied in court, as there still are today, though it doesn't seem to be as big an issue these days with cameras and DNA that help corroborate evidence in a trial that will either condemn or exonerate a person. But perjury or lying under oath is still a crime as well as it should be. But simply stated, a trustworthy witness will not lie. And he may say, well, but it's my friend. But they will not lie. They've been offered a bribe to lie, but they will not lie. They think this person could really help me if I help get them off, but they will not lie. Or this person could really hurt me if I tell the truth, but they will not lie. They do not fabricate facts. They do not say something is true if they know, if they don't know for sure. Why? Because they're trustworthy. They're worthy of trusting. You can take what they say to the bank. You can take what they say and know you are basing your judgment on truth. It's a character trait we should all long to have, to be a trustworthy witness. Not just in court, but in all our conversations. We will not lie. We can lie in our speech, but we can also lie in our silence. Ever heard someone being accused of something or something, accused of something or something bad is being said about them and you say nothing to defend them? You're silent? Your silence it says you agree with the slander of the accusations. Your silence is, in effect, a lie, because you know it's not true, but you won't defend them. You say nothing to defend them. A trustworthy witness defends truth about others and defends the character of others. A trustworthy witness is not swayed by pressure, by peers, by popularity, or by money, or by anything else. A trustworthy witness is not afraid to say, I don't know. I didn't see that. I didn't hear that. And in doing so, they're not lying, they're just being honest. It may help or hurt the defendant's case, but they will not fabricate facts to fill in the blanks to help one side or the other. This is why they're called trustworthy. And sadly, it's a missing character trait in our culture. The world is filled with far too many people who will sell out to the highest bidder, people who can be bought. And in doing so, they become what verse 5 calls a false witness or a liar. A false witness can't be trusted. Their word means nothing. Truth means nothing to them. Their character is worthless when it comes to a fair trial or reaching a just verdict. This is why Proverbs has so much to say about being a witness and telling a truthful witness. Because a truthful witness, verse 25 says, saves lives. But he who utters lies is treacherous. They're evil. Truth matters. A trustworthy witness will not lie. Their word can be trusted. A false witness utters lies, which means they can't be trusted. It doesn't mean they always lie, but how is one to know? You don't know when they may be telling the truth and when they may be lying, so their whole testimony is worthless. Once a person develops the character of being a liar, nothing they say is ever taken seriously. It's just assumed to be a lie. Ever listen to someone and wonder if this is just another one of their tall tales? Is that really true, we're thinking? They have a reputation maybe as one who exaggerates or outright lies, and you're afraid to trust them or repeat what they said because it may not even be true. So this is, this is a lot of words to say a very simple truth, that we need to be faithful witnesses. We need to be people who speak the truth. We need to seek to be known as a person who speaks the truth in love, a person whose word can be trusted. May this truth guide us and guard us in the trenches of life as we seek to live our lives for the glory of God and the good of others. May God bless.